What's up, guys? And of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your true, of course, the Skarner. And um, yeah, today we're going up against Danky in our NUCL match. Week 5, I believe. It's really week 6, but at a break week, week 5, so that's the reason. This is our week 5 battle, and he has a really, really tough team, and he pretty much broke what I expected. Being Malmar, Sork. Tauros, Flareon, Ariados, and Raichu. So very, very prominent, strong, actually strictly a new team, to be honest. Uh, Ariados and Flareon, definitely lesser and so is Raichu, I believe, but still quite powerful. Um, <clears throat> I had to have Asim in this battle for that very reason alone, and for those who don't know, this is um, a non-huge power Asim that can only be used here, because Asim is quite... Limited without this huge power, it really isn't that good without it. Now, it does have an issue here, it's very, very defensive, and that's the reason we're using it, it's a good defensive typing. So, I'm using Strip Strike, Stoutland, Mesprit, Pelipper, Asmiril, and Girder. So, I am very aware of that I'm going to be the slower battle this battle. But I had a Scarf and Mesprit, and uh, I actually have a Tailwind Pelipper. So, the idea here is to have Pelipper as a potential defogger, if I see anything that could put up hazard, but it doesn't seem like it has that outside of Ariado, so I didn't feel that was necessary. And outside of that, I actually have Tailwind, like I said, Roost and Skull. So, nothing too threatening, it's actually quite limited set, but the main reason for it is to actually bring up the Tailwind, and then make one of my mons actually quite work around it, pretty much just put that pressure. And of course, Bulk Up Gurgur can actually set up against a lot of these mons, so that's something I'm going to keep in mind. But that's pretty much it, so let's actually get to it. I just need to cough before the game. <coughs> yes, I'm gonna do this, this in one sitting, so it's a bit of a lazy video today, and for that I'm sorry. But um, I actually have been quite busy this week, things have not turned out the way I was hoping. So, um, yeah, let's do it. So, anyway, thank you. It's gonna lead off with Big Perth being, of course, right to you. I decided to go with uh, Substrike, I believe, since this was probably the only mod I had that can actually outspeed anything on his team. So I'm just going for Overheat. I know Flare could have Flash Fire, but outside of that, I don't really care. And um, yeah, I think we are Specs, actually. So we do hit a ho home run there, basically, with that damage. So he's going to switch out to his Flare on. And like I said, I was fearing the Flash Fire, but of course, his Toxic Whoop. So that works for us, while that is kinda scary, uh, it still works, and um, yeah, um, the only thing I'm really gonna do now is try to fend this guy off, I mean Flareon is actually really really powerful, so I'm gonna go to Quack, and um, we're gonna try to set up my Tailwind here, he's gonna go Flame Shard, which is actually quite surprising, but um, honestly I think that's a great way of actually solving the issue that is Flareon's uh, speed. Now I probably should have gone for a Skull to try and take it out, but I thought that, you know what, Tailwind in combination with Skull should be enough to outspeed. Um, probably not the best idea, but I thought I had this in, or had an opportunity to do so, so I was going to try to finish it off and basically bring a smarter mon afterwards, but that did not come to fruition here. Um, facade will, <laughs> or will actually be outspeed, and Facade is Definitely able for uh, take us out, and um, I'm pretty much just betting on Toxic Corp here to finish the tool of Flareon, but he's still kicking um, with a pretty much a sliver of HP. So now I know at least that he's gonna go for another facade or anything like that. I could frame him out with a potential Mac Punch. So um, I felt good about this, so I went for the Mac Punch anyway. Uh, I was thinking about Bulk Up, but that, after all, it felt kind of risky. Now he's gonna go for a Destiny Bond, and um, yeah, that's actually really cool. And of course, he outspeeds, which is also really, really frustrating. Now I don't have enough power to break it apart, uh, which is quite unfortunate, but I'm just gonna go for Bulk up here because of actually him showing that move. And um, he brings bad, what do you call it, bad Hackins. Hackins. <laughs> And um, Ariados is not potentially a threat to us, but I will go for Stick Web, and those webs are now here to stay due to my Defogger being gone. And I'm just going for Knockoff, just to get rid of the potential damn or potential item, which probably was the Focus Sash. 
And now we can just set up bulk up. But then on his set, of course. But if it goes for a toxic, then it's gonna activate something really nasty in me of the guts. Then it's gonna go for a poison jab, and that's gonna do just about nothing. Uh, but he gets a toxic, and that is incredible. Mostly because that makes my Phoenix quite dangerous. That's a free bulk up for us. So this can go for a poison jab, and I'm pretty much. I think I actually decided to just finish this up, so I have enough HP to deal with the mods that are incoming. Now, here's the thing. I'm not very likely to go for Drain Punch because of his team being so fast as it is. So, um, all I can do is just hurt the things that matter. And he's actually gonna bring the Tauros, which I wasn't too keen on if it possibly could survive a Mag Punch. And it is not. It is not. Which was really, really surprising. I thought, you know, it probably has a chance of living it. Tauros is actually fairly bulky, but two bulk up plus guts, yeah, something's going to go down. And here comes, of course, Sork, and Sork definitely should take a Mock Punch at this area, I thought. And it does live with a Slither of Health, and that's fair. Close Combat will finish us up. Even with the bulk ups behind us, Sork is just that strong. There is no way to deny that. <coughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, I'm just gonna go to Iselgor, because I'm pretty much fritting him out with being just so fat as Asimil is. And the only mods he has can actually come into this is Raichu. And he actually only decided to sack a Flareon. Like I said, Raichu is probably the only one he has left that could hurt us for real. And I think I have Sap Super as well this time. And mostly because um, it's pretty much a perfect coverage. You only know, it's weak to, Ra or to the Raichu of his team. So he bring him back blue, which I definitely did not fear. The, even with a Thunder Punch, this is not going to do a whole lot. And it definitely isn't. And Skull just wrapped this up. And I think he is Scarfed, actually. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel that Scarf works well with Mold Breaker. So, um, yeah, Left Horse Gunk again. And I was, to be honest, I was honest to see that he didn't bring his uh, um, his right shoe in that matchup to win with. But here it is, and I don't pack the Awkward yet, which probably was what he was thinking. Uh, I'm just gonna sack my Selgor because I have no real switch into this. I could have brought some Strike, yeah, sure. But it was just no point of it. So basically, due here to my Mesprit being scarfed, I know I will outspeed both um, the Raichu and um, and Malamar. And with that in mind, also pretty much means that I pretty much won this game because he can't outspeed it. And I have I, I'm actually a physical U-Turner, and it was actually made for Malamar in mind because Malamar is super super tough, and so is Sork. If he's one abandoned Sork, then I would have struggled against it. So. Metro being scarf was important, but eventually it didn't really matter. Uh, and he's going for superpower here, which is fine. Showing, of course, that he's a jolly set, but I definitely can live it because it's the fourth, after all. And I'm just going to retaliate with a return, I believe, and that's going to wrap up this game. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm really sorry about this laser type of upload. I really am. Danky definitely deserves more than that. Um, you also have a YouTube channel, and I will be linking that down below. But I thought this game was really nice. Um, I think my opponent has the good team against me. I just don't think the execution, um, or rather, my 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 typing was enough to make sure his execution couldn't go to fruition. He probably shouldn't have bring Taurus against my Girder, but I get what he was going for. Um, but outside of that, I think he plays a good game, and I think he does some good calls. Flareon definitely did what he should have done. And I really feel that Danky started off this battle well. He just kinda let out once Gerda got set up a bit. And uh, getting poison on that too really just... Uh, it made this game a lot more dangerous for him. And sadly that ended up actually being a losing battle for him in the end. So I will say I had the right, right matchup for me. Just not the right calls when it probably mattered the most. But um, he did definitely have a chance of beating me. He definitely did. So I'm not gonna deny that fact. So yeah, and also make sure to check out his channel, of course, and it's going to be linked down below. And for everybody else, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, the next two days are TBU videos, so enjoy that. And I will hopefully upload a LBA video very soon, because we actually drafted, and uh, I want to, of course, show off my draft. Woohoo! So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.